So in a certain state, the legislature has 100 seats. In 2010, Party X held 54 of those seats. In the 2012 election, the party gained two seats. In the 2014 election, they go on to lose six of those seats, but then they also gain two other seats in the 2016 election. We want to know what's the absolute change in the number of seats held by Party X from 2010 to 2016. So the, kind of the key word here is absolute. Um, if you remember like absolute value, it's always going to be a positive number, or it could be zero. So we want to figure out sort of the change. Um, let's see, so they gain two seats, so that's positive two seats they win. They go on to lose six seats, but then they gain another two seats. So if we simplify this, positive two minus six, that's going to be negative four, plus two. Negative four plus two is going to give us negative two. Okay, but the, we want the absolute change. So again, the absolute change is going to be two seats. Again, it kind of doesn't matter whether they, they, they won the seats or they lost them. There's going to be a, a net change of two seats at the end of the day, and that's the answer they want. So it's kind of a trick question. You don't want to use negative two. Um, you would say the absolute change is two seats.